there was a time when cars were a symbol of the Dolce Vita. Back in a carefree world when filling the gas tank cost next to nothing and represented freedom. And then that carefree world came to an end with the brutal shock of the rising price of fuel. Blackmail and threats. For the oil producing countries, the black gold became a political weapon. Our dependence on oil would cost us dearly. And it was only a beginning. The worst was yet to come, with the fateful day when the world's oil reserves would finally be exhausted. What would we do then without oil? The world's oil market is in a freefall. Between June 2014 and January 2016, the price of the barrel loses 70% of its value. The three giants of oil, the Americans, the Russians, and the Saudis, will then begin playing an incredible game of oil poker. Strategic changes, reversals of alliances, a whole world order, both economic and geopolitical, is reversed. Meanwhile, a worldwide energy transition is underway. Oil still reigns supreme, but has it already become a remnant of yesterday's economy? Black Gold and America, a true 20th century novel. The country is overflowing with oil and exports a lot of it. The Industrial Revolution is on the move. The United States becomes the greatest power on the planet. But to fuel the American dream, new sources of supply must be found. One of the most colorful visits to the presidential cruiser was that of the ruler of Saudi Arabia, King Ibn Saud. At the end of World War II, the Americans and Saudis meet on board the battleship Quincy to talk about oil. In 1960, an announcement drops like a bombshell. Exporters from the Middle East and Venezuela join together in a cartel to defend their interests and weigh in on oil prices. OPEC, the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, is born and intends to dictate its terms. In 1973, OPEC announces its first important decree. In the aftermath of the Arab-Israeli Yom Kippur War, five oil-producing countries announce an embargo on all countries allied with Israel, and they multiply the price of oil by four. The price of the barrel goes up to $11. It's the first oil crisis. After September 11, we saw the preferential bond between Saudi Arabia and the United States begin to disintegrate a little bit. However, the United States was very highly dependent on oil imports from those countries, Saudi Arabia and others. And we begin to see the Americans, via the companies Exxon, Mobil, Chevron, Texaco, moving slowly away from Saudi Arabia and into Africa, which was an area that was still relatively untapped. And they went massively into Angola and Nigeria, into all the countries of the Gulf of Guinea. The post-9-11 era is shaking up the United States oil supply strategy. In the next three years, the price of the barrel will more than double. The latest oil crisis has recomposed the geopolitical landscape, and the reversals of alliances are spectacular. In 1945, oil brought King Ibn Saud and President Roosevelt together for their historic meeting. This time, King Salman of Saudi Arabia has traveled in person, to meet President Putin. Crude oil, the fossil fuel that has shaped the world since the Industrial Revolution, still reigns supreme. But for how long? 